So this is a question that comes up relatively often. And in fact, it came up yesterday. Uh, I had a student of mine who uh, emailed me. Well, he's an incoming student, in fact. He is not officially part of my lab. He's coming uh, in the fall. He's going to be a PhD student. And he emailed me and asked for a meeting yesterday. So we sat down and he just blurted out, have you ever been scared? And given that I don't know him very well and we haven't really spoken one-on-one -on -one that much, um, I thought the question was a little bit unusual at first, so I probed him a little bit to find out exactly what he meant by it. And really what he meant was whether I ever felt like I didn't belong uh, professionally in a uh, setting where I was. And I explained to him that that's completely normal, that feeling, it's, it has a name, that's the imposter syndrome that everybody talks about. And um, I also tried to explain to him that whether he is good enough or not is not really the question he should be asking himself. Uh, there are some things that we cannot control, but then there are at least a couple of things that we can. And those have worked for me. Other people may have different experiences. One of them has been working hard and actually trying to uh, push myself to make sure that I at least feel like I'm working harder than the person next to me. They probably feel like they're working hard as well. But I'm trying to push myself so that I can um, make sure that I achieve things that um, I set up myself to, to try to achieve at least. Uh, and then the other one is uh, this thing that I realized uh, somewhat later in life, and that is that occasionally I feel like I'm put in a position where I have to uh, do things that make me feel uncomfortable. But then I also realize that those things are important. So. Um, what it comes down to is, at least for me personally, is that it's okay to feel a certain degree of discomfort uh, when you're getting things done. And sometimes it's actually important uh, to do that. So very often I tend to equate uh, discomfort with success um, simply because what it r uh, really boils down to is you stepping outside of your zone of comfort. Uh, and that, in a sense, is a definition of success. And as I said, that's worked for me. Um, other people might feel differently about it. I would have to say definitely uh, was the people that I met. So I have been around for long enough at this point to be able to say pretty unequivocally that those five years at UCI were, uh, in terms of my friendships, uh, the most fruitful in my life. I still have many friends from those years and pretty much most of my best friends uh, hail from those five years that I spent at UCI. It's kind of unusual in the sense that that's not even one tenth of my life at this point. Uh, and I also joined grad school relatively late in life, but somehow those five years between about the ages of 25 and 30 happened to be uh, the formative years in my life, which I think is a pretty unusual experience. One of them I think I already uh, hinted at uh, in my previous answer, and that is you're good enough. Uh, just uh, stick with it. Uh, and uh, the other one is that I something that I stressed with my kids as they were growing up, and that is it's really easy to be a jerk, but it takes hard work to be a good person. Um, and that's something that I try to keep in mind um, and I try to apply in my own life. And I, as I said, I've um, probably annoyed my kids more than once by repeating that to them. And I hope that a little part of it uh, kind of stuck in the back of their brains.